what's happening everybody welcome to the channel and welcome back if you've been here before amp capo black adonis games we are going to be inside adventure game locomotion system agls and i'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your unreal engine 5 character as well as show you how to set up factions in part one we're just going to set up the character so let's go ahead and do that the first thing that we're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your advanced locomotion folder we're going to go into the blueprints we're going to go into the character logic and we're going to go into the folder here and you're going to see an als many character bp we're going to go ahead and duplicate it and name it whatever you wish that matches your character i'm just going to name this female and you can open this character up and inside of the character blueprint go to the viewport so you can actually see the character here and you will see that there is a mesh this mesh is the visible skeletal mesh this is the mesh that you are going to want to replace your character with so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go find my character and the character that i'm going to use is this free adventure woman you can get it from unreal uh engine marketplace from ue marketplace for free i think it's still free and let's see here we're just going to go down to where the mesh is and she has her own meshes which are down here it's kind of confusing but she does have her meshes right here you just want to click on it or wherever your meshes are if you're not using this this would be for a unreal engine 5 character so we're going to go ahead to the ue5 folder and we're going to pull this character and we're going to place her here we're going to go ahead and compile that and there is a bug in unreal engine 5.4 you're going to notice that it did not change but if you go back to your content browser and we go back to our blueprint folder and go to our character logic you're going to see that the character did change so what you're going to have to do is basically close this character and then just reopen it we're going to go ahead now and go to this visual mesh and we need to set these to the defaults the material settings to default and you should see your character pop in i just want to make sure everything's on default all right so now the character's in now the next thing we want to do is get this character into the game so we're going to go and easiest way to do this is we're just going to delete this character now you will break some references by deleting this character you could leave this character in set it to the side and just let it be there so you don't get the errors but who wants a character in the game that doesn't belong so we're just going to go ahead and delete it the errors are not detrimental they are some references from the sequences used by these two blueprints so that is what you're going to get errors for but they will not stop your build or anything else after you do that we're going to go to world settings we are going to go to our default pawn class and i'm going to pick that new female that we just created so we want to go to the als female bp1 and that's going to be our start character now you could actually start just like that and it would work or you could drag this character in just if you want it to be just like it was in the project you can drag this character in or you could put a player start in however you want to do it and then you want to go to this character's details and you want to go to possess and here where it says auto possess you want to just set this to player zero you can leave this on placed in the world i switch it usually to placed in the world or spawn because i do a lot of testing and that works for me so now we can go ahead and press play and you will see that your character is now in the game so i'm gonna go ahead and skirts kind of working here but there you go she's in the game now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab an ai character because a lot of people are having problems with the ai attacking them so i'm going to show you how to do that right quick i'm going to go ahead and take care of that problem so let's grab an ai character you're going to go to your human ai logic folder under advanced locomotion blueprints and human ai logic all right in here i also have a female character that is an AI, but we're just gonna go ahead and create a child blueprint class, which is how you create an AI. You don't wanna use the original AI character. You want to create a child blueprint class, all right? 
So I'm just going to leave this as what it is. And we are going to save that. And we're going to drag this character into the map. And it doesn't matter which way the character's facing. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and press play. And you're going to see that we got an AI character here. And we need to draw weapons and all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my weapon. Aim. And you'll see that the character is responding but not shooting back. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix that now. So let's get out of this and stop. Go into the base AI character. So in the human AI logic, you will have the ALS base AI character BP. You want to open this BP up. And in the search, you want to type in tags. Now you will notice in this character, and I'm going to explain this to you real fast, that you have these regular tags and then you have these with the prefix of EN. Okay, these are the actual regular identifier tags. These are just regular tags so that this character can be identified in the system. These are actually enemy tags, thus the EN in front. So this is how this character identifies who is the enemy. So in order to get this character to attack your character, you're going to have to add your character to this list. All right. So what you're going to want to do is add this and add your character's name. Easiest way to do it and get it perfect is just to, and I'm going to rename the character real fast. I'm going to take this one off the end, but you want to go ahead and copy the name of your character. Go to this blueprint type E N underscore and then paste your character into that field. Compile, save. Now when you go back in and we press play, we draw our weapon. Okay. We get her to get over there. And we shoot. You're going to see that he starts shooting back now. He's looking around. Still doesn't know quite where the situation is. Now he knows. And there you go. So that's all you do. That is the quick and easy way to set up your character. If it's an Unreal Engine 5 non-modular character, you can set it up pretty easy. And that is the way that you set it up so that the character will attack your character. All right. The next part of this video, we're going to set up the AI to attack you and other characters, but we're going to have it do it on the fly where you can select for each individual AI character. All right. So I'll be back with another one. That's it for this part of the tutorial. The next part of the tutorial I will be posting later on today or tomorrow. Thank you for joining me. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notifications and share the content. Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games.